Hello friends, welcome back to the shop and welcome to the start of a series on the repair and restoration of this little uh, Dunhill nose warmer. Uh, this is a Dunhill 305. The stampings are very light on this so I'm not going to really try to point them out. I'll, I'll tell you what is stamped here, uh, but I don't think you're going to be able to see it. So it, it does have a 305 and then F slash T which indicates that this is a fishtail bit. Uh, the words Dunhill uh, Briere, the French word for briar. On the other side, we've got um, Made In, which is barely legible. It's been very much uh, overly zealously buffed. That seemed like there may not have been a proper word in there, but you you know what I mean. It was buffed overzealously. Um, and uh, the word England should be appear below Made In, but it's just not uh, legible if it is there. Also, interestingly, it looks like someone stamped some letters in here, maybe the previous owner's initials. It looks like maybe a J, an O, and an A. Um, and those are, unfortunately, much clearer than the Made in England stampings. <clears throat> the, the pipe itself is a, is, is a nice little nose warmer. Um, the briar is interesting in that, you know, the grain is a bit wild in spots. Uh, you know, very, very dense here and over here and then, you know, some bird's eye spots, um, but just, just very compact on the front and back. And I, I, I believe there was some tension in this bowl, um, and maybe it was carved before it was dry. I can't really say, but as you probably already caught as I was turning this around in my hand, there's a very clear crack in the bowl right here. Uh, that crack can be seen pretty clearly from the outside. There we go. Uh, starting right at the rim and extending down you know, over a quarter inch. And it is evident on the inside as well. Can I show you that? It's always a challenge to get the inside lit. There, hopefully you can see that. So that's got to be repaired, obviously. And yeah, it's gonna have some challenges associated with it. The other problem with this, um, there's some oddities to this pipe, to be honest. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sh show you this, but on the front here, you can see this is just carved unusually. There's like a, a hump right in there. And it just it's just not smooth. There's like a ridge that runs all the way across there. Uh, just very odd for for uh, a Dunhill, but there you have it. And then the stem is not good at all. Um, it's a nice enough stem, but let me get a index card here so I can show you what's going on. Um, it's going to be hard for you to see. However, hopefully you can see quite clearly that that fits in there with no problem. Yet over here, I cannot get it to go in. Um, this, the stem is it's uneven. So it's flush here. It will not uh, flush up over here. It's also loose. Um, <clears throat> this is a puzzle to me. There's a couple of different reasons why it might not mesh up with the the shank, but what bothers me about this is it seems almost, almost as if this pipe has been altered in some way. So, if you look very carefully, you'll notice that there's a bit of a ridge here where the shank is just a little bit wider than the stem. And the same is true at the top. Uh, in fact, all the way around, I can feel a ridge where the shank is just slightly bigger than the stem. And the stem clearly just is not fitting properly. It's almost as if this pipe was originally a little bit longer and it had been uh, truncated for some reason, maybe a cracked shank, for example. I've looked up pictures of the 305 and folks that are familiar with, with these pipes 
can tell you that this is actually about the right size. So I don't think that it's been changed very much. And the Dunhill stamping, it, it does run right up to the edge here. And I wish I could get this more clear for you, but the L, the second L in Dunhill ends right at the, the edge of that shank. Now, maybe this has been, you know, truncated or sanded a bit, but the end there looks really quite good. Um, looks like it's the factory surface. It's got a nice chamfer in there, which would be expected. The stem does appear to be a real Dunhill stem. It's got all the characteristics that sort of divoted in there. Uh, this little fillet around the it's not really a fillet, but um, raised. There's not a 90 degree angle there, and that's because of the type of tool they use to turn the, the tenon down. Um, it's one of the things that Dunhill stems are known for, which is having that, that little angled part between the end of the tenon and the face of the stem here. And that's because the tool that was used to cut this was uh, radius and they did not clean that up which is why they chamfer the end here so with all that being said this should fit in there properly and it should match up with the shank so uh, there's there's some oddities here now it's my, not my job to explain the history although i <laughs> i'm curious to know how the pipe got into this state the owner uh picked it up uh, as an estate pipe, so he, he doesn't know anything more than I do. Uh, so we're playing, we're doing a bit of a detective work with this. At any rate, we've got two major things to fix, and I'm just going to, in very general terms, say we have to fix the crank, the crack in the bowl, and we have to make the stem fit properly. Uh, this one is going to be fairly simple to deal with. Uh, and we'll talk about it when we get to it. It's just going to be a matter of filling that because I don't believe we're going to be able to successfully close this. And even if we could, it will probably spring open again. <clears throat> this, uh, there, there's several, several reasons why this might not be lining up. And we need to be careful. I don't want to, you know, throw the baby out with the bathwater, if you will. I want to make sure that we fix this with as minimally invasive methods as possible. So we'll, we'll have to see. But uh, yeah, it's an interesting little puzzle and it's gonna be fun to uh, try to get this to come back together again. So I hope you'll join me. Uh, I'm guessing this is gonna take about two episodes to complete and I will try to get the next episode out to you in about a week's time. So if you enjoyed this and you want to follow along, please hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell so you get reminded of when the next video comes out. I appreciate your support, your subscriptions, your comments, your likes, and I'll look forward to uh, answering any questions you might have, and we will uh, follow up on this in the next video. Thank you all.